Hey world of YouTube, welcome to day 38, I want to say 38, 38 or 39, of Red Rack Every Day. I'm off of work, I'm home, and a long, long day at work today, now I just want to kick back and relax. Nick and I have plans tonight, we're going to be hanging out, we might venture forth, travel around, but we're going to be hanging out, and most definitely, that's certainly going to be happening. So, that's what's going on. Uh, in the meantime, I'm going to make me some lunch. Ah! You know what I can't wait for? When Bernie Sanders, if Bernie Sanders gets elected for presidency, waiting to see how many anti-Semitics will come out of the woodwork from the people I know, so I know who to remove from my life. I, I ended up taking a nap. That is my memory card and my rumble pack. Me and Nick are hanging out. That's probably bad time to pandy you, I'm sorry. I'm uh, I also have food, but I'm not eating it yet. And we're gonna play some NFL Blitz. There you go. NFL Blitz. 2015. There you go. Now he's not eating, so it's a good time to have candy. <laughs> uh, I didn't mean to take a nap, and I was woken up by not only Nick knocking at my door, but I felt my I saw my phone vibrate. It was a whole mess of a scenario. I like vaulted out of bed. Nick thought it was hilarious. Oh my god, we're going in overtime. We got Buffalo and Philadelphia tied at 3 all. It's a hell of a game here in Philly. I don't know why I'm using this accent for a Philadelphia game, but he's playing a heck of a shot. Papping so many pucks towards the goal guy. It's, it'll blow your sets up here in 1994. Let's start. Oh, and you should have seen the game. It tied, it ended in a tie. They shot the puck so many times. Nobody scored. That's the game. Thank you for watching. Okay, no, but on a, on a real note, what the hell happened to the Violent Femmes? Like, their first record's perfect. And everyone everyone knows that. Everyone knows the first Violent Femmes record is astounding. I've actually talked about it on the channel, now that I think about it. I love the first Violent Femmes record. It's in my top 100. It's a fucking amazing record. And Howler Ground is actually incredibly underrated. If you have not looked at the second Violent Femmes record, go do so. It's really good. But after that, what the hell happened? They just dropped immediately. Like, Gordon Gano, what the fuck? Didn't make my favorite version of the SpongeBob theme song, though. So they did come back a little bit with that. Holy fuck, the Violent Femmes did a cover of this. Okay, I was wrong. The Violent Femmes didn't necessarily completely drop off. They still did a couple cool things after the first two records, but nothing nearly as awesome as the first two records, but that's awesome, as is the SpongeBob theme. So Riley Rowe wanted me to talk about Spotify Apple Music. His question was specifically, not sure if you've covered this topic before, but opinions on Spotify, Apple Music, etc. And then his follow-up thing was like, would you be pissed if there was no free music? Well, to answer the second question first, because, well, it's easier to answer, there's never not going to be free music. There's always going to be free music. We live in the internet, dude. They, they could police it all they want. There's no stopping the, the distribution of art in a free manner on the internet because people are going to find a way to distribute it in a way that's free, whether it's Spotify or not. Like, There's always going to be artists or people pushing music out there for free because it's art, and art does not have a price tag. I'm one of those people. I've actually had this long-winded discussion about musical piracy in one of my Let's Plays. I'll link it in the description. It's like a three-part thing where we, my friend Austin and I completely argue with each other on piracy because he, um, he and I both support it, but we have different stances on it. So we talk about it in the video, very in-depth to the point where we were yelling at each other about it, and then we stop because we're friends and we're supposed to be having fun. But we get real. We break it down. Um, because I support piracy to a degree. I feel like I get why people do it. I don't think that it's a bad thing. It totally fucked up the infrastructure of, uh, the music industry, which I'm happy with, you know, 
yes, people aren't making as many millions or as many hundreds of thousands as they could, but it it's a good thing, you know, because it distributes music in a way that people get to see it. Plus, if you really look at the figures, artists don't make a tremendous amount anyway off the records anymore because of this infrastructure. You know, they make more money touring. That's why bands, you know, a lot of times bands just put out their records, you know. Uh, but it's a whole other time for another day. I'm not a, I don't think there's ever going to be, uh, there's ever not going to be free music. It's always going to be out there, whether it's YouTube, Spotify, what have you. As far as the services go, I like them. I like, I have a Spotify account. It's where I make a lot of my playlists. If you want to find me on Spotify, it's Viral Rack, or at least it was. It's my name now, probably. Uh, so if you know me on Facebook, I'm on Spotify. I have a lot of playlists on there that I use for various means. Uh, but I think they're good. I mean, it exposes people to more music. That's always a good thing. But no matter what it is, if someone's like, hey, listen to this band, you can check out the record on Spotify most of the time. Sometimes you can't, whether they're incredibly obscure or not. Sometimes they're not on Spotify. But six times out of seven times out of ten, they're on Spotify. And you can check them out and listen to the records for free. That's great, you know. Uh, I think it's good that Spotify exists so that people can capitalize on this act of streaming sites, you know, because streaming sites would not have existed in the fucking 90s because people were way too money hungry. And so nowadays, I love that these services exist that were by proxy a product of people pirating music anyway, so they give you a free service that at least ad revenues it so that people can make money, you know, on these streams. So I think it's a good idea. You know, I don't think it's bad. I think it's a great idea, and I like these services for that reason. Um, I don't have an Apple Play. I've never used Apple Play. I've never used any other streaming service other than Pandora, which is fun to get into new bands, and then Spotify, which is fun to listen to your music on the fucking go if you don't have a massive catalog. Um, but either way, I think that they're great. I think they're good services. I think that they're awesome. That's my opinion. I, th I like Spotify, and you should follow me on there if you want. Like, the playlists I talked about with the novels, those are on Spotify, the novel playlists, as are there's a myriad of other playlists of moods and tones and all that shit. So one of the things I decided to do today before I went to work was wrap my ankle. And I actually technically did it after I went to bed or after I ended yesterday's vlog. But I wrapped my ankle. My bad ankle's been acting up a lot lately. And so I figured I'd try and wrap it tight and see if I could walk on it normally. When I walked around my house with my test wrap, it worked really well. But then today, this morning, when I wrapped it again to try and go to work and see if that would improve my stance at work, it fucking hurt. And it's left my ankle scarred, actually. Like, I took it off. I had to work truck this morning. And it was fine when I was walking for a little bit. I was walking normally. Like, I today made me realize how badly my walking cycle, my walk cycle, I'm going to speak like I'm an NPC in a video game, like how badly my walk cycle is, or how bad my walk cycle is, because, like, if you look at my shoes, my soles are worn to the bone in, like, two specific points because I walk so terribly on my bad ankle. And so... Um, I started, like, when I wrapped it, I could walk normally. I could walk, like, balanced on my foot, which felt great for, like, 20 minutes. And then while I'm working track at work, I have this massive pain in my ankle. Like, my ankle is like, oh, my God, please fucking stop. So I had to sit down mid-truck, which was probably something I should have done. We had a busy truck today, but I got most of it done before I really had to go upstairs and open pet care. But I was... I unwrapped my ankle, and the instant I unwrapped my ankle, my ankle just, like, breathed a sigh of relief, and I could walk normally, but then throughout my shift, it started hurting, and now my ankle is freaking killing me, so I'm debating on wrapping it again and just walking on it for a little bit, you know, letting it, letting it adjust, like, alternating wrapping it throughout the day, but I don't want to waste my wrap, so I don't know, but, uh, I figured I'd give you guys who wanted an ankle update, an update on my ankle. I'm going to bed. I gotta get up tomorrow and do stuff, but not until later in the day. Hope you enjoyed the game, fuck Today I talked about Spoofy. You know my opinions on Spoofy. What are some of your... Do you like Spotify? Do you like Spotify streaming services and all those goods? What's your opinion on... What else I talked about today? Hold on.
That that was the topic of the day. I also talked about discography reviews and stuff. But I wanna know what you think of Spotify spoofy, cause I would ask and I wanna know. I'm assuming a lot of my fan base likes Spotify, cause I know a lot of people that follow me that like Spotify. But if you don't, let me know and let me know why, cause I wanna know. I wanna start a discussion. A commentary of sorts. Tomorrow I'm off. I gotta edit today's vlog and post two more vlogs and get completely caught up on vlogs. Swirl go rod. Well, I'm gonna go to bed. I'll be back. Yes, good day. I'll see you tomorrow.